Uh, hi, it's uh, Tis the Season again. We're preparing for the Woodstown by Candlelight Walk, which is going to occur this year on the 7th of uh, Friday, the 7th of December. And uh, we're just getting some greenery, some of the swags up on the front of the, uh, the Samuel Shivers house. And uh, I think we have the, uh, the curator is in the window over here, Sage Franklin, uh, the doctor. I'm not sure if we can still see him, but he's overseeing the laying of that, uh, that one swag there. So uh, uh, anyway, here at the Shivers house, preparing for the holiday season. I uh, hope you'll join us on the 7th. And we're also going to be available on the f uh, 1st, which is going to be Saturday when uh, the Salem City has their Yuletide tour. So if you're going to Seven Stars, come by and see the real oldest tavern in the state of New Jersey here, the sign of the key. Thanks so much. Oh, hi, Greg Perry here. It's that time of year again for the uh, Woodstown Candlelight Tour. Uh, this year it's going to be on the 7th of December. From uh, We're going to open at 5 o'clock through uh, probably 10.30 at night. Uh, and last year to accommodate, we had almost 625 people, so uh, we, we're gonna extend the hours a little bit. Uh, we're having the neighbors, the Hathaways on this year, so I'm sure these two houses are gonna be a big draw and we should uh, you know, really pack them in this year. So uh, just put some greenery up on the house, uh, across the front, put some swags up, and uh, you know, I, I think we're ready for the holiday season. So let's take a walk inside and let's see what, uh, what's new this year on the tour. And uh, the doctor is actually testing the fringe and uh, trying to get that candle straight. And uh, oh, nope, it's down again, but uh, he's, he's working on that. And uh, you know, we'll make all this happen. Oh, we're trying to get the candle up again. He may have to go for some help. So uh, check, checking the viability of the windows, making sure they're locked. So you So come on in, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the new rooms that uh, have been restored in the last year. Come on in. Oh, hi again, welcome uh, to the Samuel Shivers house uh, in, in great preparation of the holiday season. As compared to last year, we have two new offerings. Uh, for the May Salem County house tour, uh, the, the music room from 1813, the Shin Music Room was, was finished. Uh, that'll be on display and there'll be another video forthcoming. In addition, um, we have four new windows on the, uh, the north end of the house, which, uh, as we've explained before, the uh, 6x6s were placed in by a Betty Lippincott in 1946, the 12x12s I've handmade at the bench, and 8x12s are on the top. Uh, this will be a continuum in the next year, is to redo all the windows in the front from 6x6 six six to the 8x8 eight eight and 12x12. Twelve but in addition, we are uh, avidly trying to get part of the tavern. And this is a tavern that's been moved and adjoined to the Shivers House in 1724. This is a 1669 tavern. It's the oldest occupied tavern in the state of New Jersey, timber frame, still in use, still together. And uh, it was moved, moved here from where the corner bar is. And uh, from what we see, it was called the Sign of the Key Tavern. And uh, let's, let's come on in, let's take a look at what we got here. So the cage bar has been reassembled and uh, it's a lot of work to, to fit it together to make everything go because this is an old dwelling, things have moved over the years so it's back where it norm, uh, originally was. Um, we have some finishing touches, some hardware to hold the cage up and in addition um, this is the original window that was originally there and it's back, it's a 9 over 9 and that was the would have been the first drive up in the state of New Jersey. So this is a legitimate drive up. But let's keep in mind, um, as an aficionado and, and one studying these early taverns, this section was a tavern. It's not like uh, a lot of the pseudo taverns that are strapped around the county that somebody has a house. We have one down the road that it was a house and they converted for a tavern for some 20 or 30 years. So it's like someone opening their house up and saying, I think we'll sell beverages here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That was the kind of affair that was, and several others around the county that were known as taverns. Um, if, if you look, if you go in those dwellings, you'll notice the placement of the cage bar is right on top of, say, a fireplace or something. It would have never been that way 
and, and some claim to have drive up windows and, and the actual drive up window because the, the front stoop would never even work. This, this drive up window was on the side of the tavern. It was meant for coach or on horseback to, uh, to get your favorite beverage or a, a container of porridge. Um, but we'll continue this video later on. We have period lighting that, and, and candles that are going to be in here for the tour. Uh, tavern tables, antique tavern tables are coming in. We have a settee predating 1700 with hanging corner cupboard predating 1700. Uh, a mirror in Queen Anne, which would typically be found in a tavern like this. But again, remember, this tavern is dating back to 1669. It was in existence and running until 1724, where the corner bar stands. It was disassembled there. Samuel Shivers owned this tavern. He disassembled it. He sold the land. It was disassembled by three Native Americans, labeled, drugged by two oxen, the 1.8 miles up to 68 North Main Street here, and reassembled, attaching to the Shivered household. At that time, it served the function of additional room for the two new children of the Shivers had, bedrooms upstairs, and this was a, a comfort room, an alternate type keeping room for them. Um, in addition, as the years progressed in the mid-1770s when the Shins had the house, this was actually a haberdashery, so hats were actually made here, fitted here, purchased here, and the, the, the door to the haberdashery was in the back of the dwelling. So it served multiple functions, and going around 1800, this tavern section served as a, a local grocery store. So that's, uh, that's what we have for the Shivers House. Um, so we're talking about the Christmas tour. Please come and see the oldest tavern in the state of New Jersey, see its progression back to its former glory, and uh, I'd like to see you on that date. Thanks so much.